today we're going to take a look at the tool called Google Assignments. Google Assignments works inside of Canvas and allows you to take an item from your Google Drive, like a Google Doc, and make a copy of it for each student. This is great because it takes some, that feature that you love inside of Google Classroom and brings it to Canvas. So how this works is ahead of time on my Google Drive, I created a Google Doc template that I want students to fill out. So you'll wanna have a item on your Google Drive that you're wanting to attach here if you wanna make a copy for each student. Google Assignments also allows students to pick an item from their Google Drive or to create a new doc slide or sheet right from Google Assignments to then turn into you. So I've created this ahead of time, and now I'm inside of my Canvas course, and I'm ready to make my new assignment. Remember, you can create a new assignment by going to Assignments and clicking the plus button to add a new assignment, or you can create it from the module by adding a new assignment to the module and then editing that assignment. So I'm in my class, I'm in Assignments, and I'm clicking to add a new assignment here. So here I'm going to give my assignment a name, I could choose to put some information in here. So if I want to explain to students how they are going to submit it, um, you can put those instructions in this box here. Point value, it's very important that you match your point value here inside of Canvas to the point value you'll be able to put in using Google Assignments. So I'm gonna make this assignment worth 10 points. You can also change some of these settings here depending on how you use your LMS. And then we are going to go to submission type and we're gonna make sure it's on external tool. Then we're gonna click our find button. So here in Winsville, we have set up Google Assignments. So as we scroll down, we're gonna see it here as an option. So we're gonna click it. And then the first time it pops up, it's going to ask us to give it permission. So we are continuing with our account here. And then it's going to open up in a new tab, the Google Assignments interface. So here's where we put our assignment information. Notice originality reports are on here, our files, point value, rubric, due date, all of that is here. So we are going to click to attach a file and this is going to make a copy of a file for each student to edit and submit. This is going to bring up our Google Drive. It is a recent item, so I don't really have to go searching for it, but you could go searching for it here in your drive. So as long as it's on your drive, you can attach it. And here you're gonna see it's going to make a copy for each student. The point value here needs to match the point value that we put back on that assignment. So back here we have 10 points, so I'm putting 10 points here. If I had a due date, the due dates need to match the due date on the LMS settings as well. Now we're ready to click Create. It is going to take our Google Doc as it is right now and make a copy for each student. So do know if you do choose to attach a file and you don't have to remember students can add files if you don't want to make a copy for each student you don't have to but if you do choose to do this as soon as you click to make a copy for each student you can't go back and make changes to that original document think about it like a copy machine you've already run your copies through so you would need to go back and recreate this if you wanted to make changes so here we are i'm going to click select now meaning i've already pulled what i need and then you should see a little URL here has filled in this blank, which is great. Again, I can scroll down and do a due date if I want. All of those changes can be there. Now I'm going to save, or I can also save and publish, meaning I'm ready for students to see it, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click save and publish here. And then it's going to load the Google assignment interface here for the teacher. And here's the cool part about it. So again, if I needed to change the points, I would have to change it here and click edit assignment settings to change the points there as well. They need to match, due dates need to match as well. So now that I have this set up, I'm gonna go in to a student view here. Oh, one more thing, I need to add it to the module. Good to model that. So I, you can see I have assignments hidden from students, so the only way they can see that assignment is if I add it to the module. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna add it, I'm gonna make sure it's published here, which it is, so we should be good to go. Okay, so I am in, as a student now, I'm in modules, and I'm gonna click on that where are you assignment. Now, the first time that students do this, they will have to authenticate. So they're gonna have to connect their Google account to their Canvas so that they can see it. So here's the assignment, here's the file that's attached. Students can see the information, how many points, all of that. 
Um, and then students can open it one of two ways. They can just click right here and start working. But when they go to submit, they're going to have to click open in assignments to submit. So anytime they want to work on it, this is saved on their Google Drive, but they can also come right here to the assignment to open it up again. And the nice thing is, is because it is a Google Drive assignment, all the work is automatically saved on their drive. So as they're working, they don't have to click save. It's all just saving. Notice when I, so again, I could have clicked here to open just the doc itself to look at the file or I can click here on opening assignments and then click here to open it. But I also have the ability as a student to create a new doc sheet or slide that's attached to this assignment or add any files from my drive. So again, you may want them to add something in addition, or maybe you don't make a copy of something for them. You just want them to add files. They can do that here. So now I'm going to click to open as the student. And this is where the student, again, it put their name on it, okay, which is nice. So they have that there. And then we, the student can just type right in then to what you've made, put the information on it, which you can see I've done already here. So we have all that information. And then when they're ready to submit, they can hit the submit button here. It's just going to remind me that you're submitting it. And now it is the work is submitted here from the student point of view. Now, if the student needed to make changes to it, because as soon as they submit it, they have view only access, they can't make any more changes. They can click unsubmit, make their changes and then resubmit if they like. Now let's jump over, back over to the teacher perspective. I'm gonna reload it here so that we can take a look and we should see that there is now an entry, a submission, which is great. When we click this, it is going to look identical to Google Classroom grading. So in here, I have the ability to leave comments on the student work. I can leave overall comments. I can use the comment um, bank if I wanna use the comment bank. And then I can put my grade in here for the student. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the student 10 out of 10. Remember, just like with Google Classroom, I can use the drop down here to jump between students. I also can go to the next student. And then when I'm ready to return, I'm just gonna press that return button and return their grade. When it does this, it also puts the grade inside of the Canvas gradebook, which is great because we have a grade pass back. So when we go into our student information system, we can then bring that grade right in there. So it's kind of seamless. Remember too on here that you do have the ability to click on speed grader. When you do this though, I will warn you that what it will do is just open basically the student's work, the whole Google assignment interface right here in this box for you. So you'll see when I kind of open this, it just loads that interface here. And then when I click, it just opens it in a new tab for me. So the only benefit you get to being in the speed grader is that if you're comfortable using this speed grader feedback for this student, you can leave that feedback here, but you're really looking in the new tab to see that student work. Let's jump back here. We've given this student their grade. Now let's jump back to the student submission and click on that assignment. I'm just gonna refresh here. So now the student can click, you can see there's, they can see their score and the student can click on that file and see any comments or feedback that you've left them there. So again, this was an overview of how you can use Google assignments, assignment type, inside of Canvas to make a copy of an item on your Google Drive for each student and to use that Google Classroom grading interface inside of Canvas.